What's going on, my friends? Welcome to the 198 of the Gay Guy Podcast. Here we bring you everything New York, New Jersey, Philadelphia, national, international sports. Hosted by your Shuli and Rosani, and I'm joined by Mike Williams and Alex Rupert. We've seen podcasts on various platforms, including Little YouTube, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, and Basic Pirate Radio. Also, you should follow social media at GetYourGameUp. Before I said, it's time to get your game on. Yo, yo, Adam, my new name on the show is Iceman. Now I'm, I'm Mike Iceman. That's my new name. You heard me. Iceman? Mike Iceman. Mike Iceman. You heard Mike Iceman. Really? Why is that your new nickname? Because that's my new nickname. I'm starting that. Um... May I ask why that's your new nickname? Why, why, because Mike. Why, 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 because... Not go, why not go with something like uh? Why not go with Big Money Mike? Why not go with uh? Mike, why not go with Flame Man? Why not go with Thunder Man? Why'd you have to go with Ice Man? Curious. Uh, no, no. My name is Mike Iceman. Like my Ice Man Mike. That's my nickname. Ice Man Mike. Ice Man Mike. Ice, but still, I got, but I got... still, but still, why not Flame explain Man? Why not Thunder Man? Why, why'd you pick us? Oh, do I look, do I look like a fucking Nickelodeon character? Do you name Thunder Man? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh, I'm Ice... just wondering why Ice Man. It's, it's a question. I'm gonna tell you. Okay. If you don't interrupt the black man, rude. Because I got a lot of jewelry because of my ice. I'm a man. And my name is Mike. Okay, I guess I can accept that as an answer. Because my shot like ice, you know, water. And Alex is just singing in the corner trying to process all this. Well, Alex is a bitch. What do you expect? I know uh, yeah, I know why you want to be called Iceman. Because you're ice cold talking to females. Oh! oh! Okay, Adam, hold up. <laughs> he wants to play that that card. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, Michael. I don't know how you come back from that one. I, I'm ice cold with females. I'm, I'd rather have be ice cold with females than have a shitty jump shot. You know what I'm saying, Adam? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I still think Alex has got you beat there. <laughs> no, nah, he he don't got me Sorry, beat. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, ice Michael. Cute. Alex I, wins this round. Nah, nah. At the end of the day, he he gets one good liners, but then you know he's a keyboard warrior. You know what I'm saying? Um, don't ever say no way can out joke me. You know better than that. I come hard. What the heck? <laughs> oh my god. What is you wrong with your mind tonight? <laughs> you started it. You you started it, brother. I just had to finish it. Adam, guys, we're back. Not, guys, let's be honest. We're not making it to season four. <laughs> I think this is our last season. <laughs> I swear. Yep, we're not making it. And as long as we get to 200 episodes, I don't give a fuck what we do. You want to retire after 200 episodes? You want to be like, okay, that's it. Uh, we're riding off to a sunset. Do something else. <laughs> now, nah, we'll still do Get Your Game Wall because the viewers have a right to know why we do we'll, 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 we'll do something. We'll, we'll, we, may, we may have to retire from the Get Your Game brand. I think the Get Your Game on brand has become like, uh, it's become too infected. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? First of all, you love it. I do love it. Adam, I think I think we will get sued if we change our name. Yep. Whew. Man. What's on the show today, boys? All right. But all right, guys. Um, we are opening the show. Guys, what are we opening the show with? Your mama? Oh and four. Damn. <laughs> oh, and four. What's so, uh, that? That's a riddle. What? What? Can, the first one. The first one who can um get the correct answer as to what that means gets a prize. Oh, and four. We yeah, went. Oh, was... We went. Oh, and four without and the.
he's getting his cat. No, he's not getting Tabitha. He won't get. This is a depressing moment. <laughs> Alex, I promised you a prize. And here it is. Here is your prize. Oh, oh my God. What is wrong with you? Congratulations. What is wrong with you, man? <laughs> the fuck? I promised him a prize. He was the first one to get so Adam, me give me a headache. Prize. Headaches. And congrats on losing to the Saints. And congrats on congrats <laughs> on three straight losses. <laughs> Damn, Alex, three straight losses, bro. I don't know how y'all. Yeah, well, what? Who? You guys want to open with the Giants first? Let's talk. Uh, tell me how the Giants are shit. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let me just up. I'll just open gave up. up with the Eagles. I'll open up with the Eagles. You want? You want to open up with the Eagles? Yeah. Sure, why not? Giants. Can I just say Jalen Hurts? They're, they're they're irrelevant, really. They're, they're let's let's open the show with that. Actual um, uh, relevant team, even though their play isn't relevant now. Okay, Eagles. They lose on Monday Night Football. They drop to they drop to the Seahawks twenty seventeen. They've now lost three straight games. And Alex, I'm gonna I'm gonna ask you a question right now about your about your Eagles. Okay. One. Uh, let me see. On a scale of one to ten, one being the lowest, ten being the highest. How worried are you about the Eagles? I would say 6.5. Hmm. Adam, I got, let me say why. something about the Eagles. Let me say, let me before Alex starts, I'm going to explain Go why. Ahead. Go ahead. Here's why. You tried three straight. You lost, you, you got blown out at home. They lost twice on the road. If I'm Alex, if I'm the Eagles, I'll be fucking... Nerving because you guys have an easy schedule. You guys have a gimme game next week. You guys have a gimme game. You know what I mean, Adam? I don't know if I would call it a gimme game, but they have a gimme game this week. They play this. They have a. Oh yeah, they play the Giants. So yeah, that, that <laughs> is a gimme game. And they're at home, so the Giants beat the Eagles. What's your excuse then? You have three gimme games. You have the Giants. Cardinals and Eagles. If the Giants beat the Eagles, that's at the point where it's like, okay, red alert here. Uh, I will now tell my perspective on what happened. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go cry. Okay. What happened is there were two main things that that made the Eagles lose this game. Number one was the the defense was horrid. And I don't know what the heck happened in the last two two quarters in the second half, but they just seem lost and they don't see, seem committed to to on the winning side of things defensively. And I don't know if it's the coaching changes or anything but but this team defensively is definitely not at their standard of what they were last year and it's just a complete um I, I can't I can't even describe a word to describe them but it's just unbearable to watch and excuse my language but shit needs to change dramatically and and if they keep doing what they're doing uh once playoff time comes then this team is not going to be what people thought would be in the start of the season and i'm i'm really worried at the moment where they they can't they can't be a team that can can uh, have a victory formation of winning with more than seventeen points a game. And and I know Jalen Hurts was not feeling well and at all, but but I yeah, I just think that his 
mentality and mindset is not what he has been at, uh, especially with that Super Bowl run he had that season. And it's just not there. And I mean, I've I've been listening to to a lot of people with their statements of perspectives about that win, about that loss, but um, I've I've heard people saying that uh, I think they they win out, but they they don't get the job done in the playoffs, and they are really worried about how how effortless this team is this year, and um, they and. It comes with the coaching staff also, but this this whole organization is completely depressing and and it's just not in the right mindset of being a true division leader. I mean this Let's call it what, what it is, guys. The Eagle, Remember a couple of weeks ago when I said I think the Eagles, this Eagles team is the best team in football? <laughs> they are not. not the best They're team in football. Dope. They're not even close. They're not. Guys, you want, look, look, I, let me look at all these. Um, I just want to emphasize of how, you know, of how the past few weeks we've really seen the Eagles come crashing down the earth. And how we're, we're how this team as of right now, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be honest. I think the Cowboys are overall better right now. Let me say it one more time. Say I think the one... Cowboys are overall better right now. Let me explain, let me explain, let me explain. Oh, let me see. There are currently six teams in the in NFL right now with at least with six with with ten or more wins. They're and they're sixties the NFL right now with ten or more wins. Let me just go through uh, right now. The San Francisco 49ers, best team in football, like I I I would say. I think we I think most of us would agree, right? One of the point differential is plus one ninety one. Baltimore Ravens plus one fifty nine. The Dallas Cowboys. Plus 167. The Miami Dolphins. Plus 147. The Detroit Lions. Plus 51. Alex, I'm going to take, I'm going to give you a wild guess here. I'm going to give you both wild guess. First one to get the, whoever gets the closer answer gets, gets a prize. What is the Eagles point differential this season? Uh, I'm not sure. Just give me a random guess. Give me a random guess. I guess nine. Michael, what's your guess? What's up? What is the Eagles point differential this season? Let's say eight. Michael says nine. Michael says eight. Ax says nine. Ax, you were closer. It's plus 18. Jesus. Dude, we weren't even far. We were far from close, you buffoon. <laughs> you were. He, and I said Ax was closer. It was plus 18. But did still, look at Detroit. They're plus 51, and you're only plus 18. Das is plus 167, and you're plus 18. And, guys, I think. You know what, you know what I feel right now? And I. I hate to do this because I don't hate the guy as, as a player or as a person. I don't have any ill will for the guy other than he plays for a division rival. Michael, remember when I got into a debate with Alex about a hot take debate about Jalen Hurts? Yeah. And what did I say? See, he was overrated? I say he was overrated. I say he's not a top five quarterback in the league right now. And I'm going to be honest, that takes looking pretty darn good. I mean, Jalen, let's call it what it is, Mike. Uh, let's call it is over these past three game games, um, Alex. Jalen Hurts has been bad. 
Mm-hmm. Let's call it what it is. He has not been good. I guess let's I guess the 49ers. He it's it's 49ers. 578 completion percentage and it's just only with the, oh only with the for what for one touchdown but 19 points on the board. Against the against the Cowboys, only able to put 13 points on the board, no touchdowns. And then against the Seahawks, who are well, they are Seahawks are a good team. They're probably gonna make a bad team. The Eagles are, be, are should be better than them. That's a team that they should beat. And what does he do? Fifty four point eight completion percentage, no touchdowns, two interceptions. You look at his statistics. I'm sorry, they're not top five quarterback statistics. Who's the top five quarterback? I who, said who? I said Jalen Hurts is not a top five quarterback. So who's top five? I want to know who's top five, Adam. You want to know who's top five right now? You right now? Okay, I'll go. I'll go do. I'll, I'll say Patrick Mahomes. When healthy, I say Joe Burrow. I'll say Joe Burrow. You're gonna give me that one. He don't count. He's hurt. He hasn't. Talking about, talking about playing right now. All right, Josh Allen. Josh Allen. Josh Allen ain't number two. Don't don't do that. Don't do that. I'm not, I'm not saying he's number two. What I say is, would you not take over Jalen Hurts? Okay, but he's not. I don't think Josh Allen's top five. He overrated. He's just on a good team. He's just. I don't think he's that good. Next. We'll agree, disagree. There. I I would say. Uh, this may get this may ruffle out because I, I would say CJ Stroud right now is better. Who? CJ Stroud, I would say right now is better. Are you shitting me? Now, now you now you just now you just chant out your ass. He ain't trying. You can't. CJ Stroud's gonna is gonna win Rookie of the Year. He's don't no 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 next. I'll put I'll take Trevor Lawrence. I'll take Trevor Lawrence over him. Too early to too early to tell. Next, I'll take Trevor Lawrence. I'll take Justin Herbert. I'll take Justin Herbert. Oh, hell no. Herbert over the... No, 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 no. I would also take... I would also take um, Lamar Jackson. I'll take Lamar Jackson. I don't know. Lamar Here's Strong one. Here's team. one. Here's one that will really get on Alex's nerves. Oh. And I said, this is going to make you happy, and Alex is going to trigger you to no end. What? Right now, I would take Dak Prescott over over Jalen. Dak Hurts. Prescott was already better than Jalen Hurts. We had no reason to even say that Jalen Hurts is not even better than Prescott. I mean, because Dak, Dak Prescott right now is having an MVP level season. He's Dak going Prescott to be the MVP. MVP if he's not the MVP, the NFL is rigged. And that's the thing you. that I've looked at with Jalen Hurts is that I've always said, with you put if you put good, and this is the difference between. Between you know a great quarterback and an elite quarterback, and like a true, true top of the mountain guy, I and this is what me this is what to me this is what makes Jalen Hurts a great quarterback, but not you know an elite guy. You look at the 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 Eagles roster; they are stacked around their quarterback. Look at the look at look at all the time that that uh Jalen Hurts has been blessed with around him. Devontae Smith, AJ Brown, Dallas Goddard. You got you got DeAndre Swift in the backfield. You have up, uh, yeah, yeah. You got a really good offensive line. You ha- he has all the pieces around him. I don't know. So he's never really had to carry. He's never really he's never really had to you know put the team you know like like what what like what, what like you see what Mahomes did in the Super Bowl where. He where his offensive line is dog shit. He's not getting the best of his but he's still able to make things happen. Now, I know, now I know he's. I know uh, no, it's unfair to compare him to um, Mahomes, but 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 still, it's like you see franchise quarterbacks when things aren't great around them, they're able to uh, elevate their teams. Now, also in Jalen Hurts, things aren't you know the best around them. They, things aren't as good around them, and and look, he's regressed. These past few games, he's regressed. So that's my takeaway from that's my takeaway from this thing from this Eagles leading loose streak is that we've learned that the Eagles are not the clerk of best team in the in in the NFL. And two, I was right all along about Jalen Hurts. <laughs> 
Do you have a response to either of them? I just want to have a stroke. <laughs> I mean, will I mean if Dak Prescott in the next two weeks it beats the Dolphins and Lions, then I would absolutely call him better better than Jane Hortz. But what? What? Oh, oh, him. no! Oh, I, 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 he is so bu- Adam. Are you hearing the bias? We just killed you. Dak Prescott killed the Eagles a couple weeks ago. Killed them. Outperformed Jalen Hurts every game he played. We played the Eagles. What the hell are you smoking? He, the last three games, he has he only scored one touchdown. I don't want to hear it's not, shit. It's not just playing the Philadelphia Eagles. It's playing against more better opponents like Miami and Detroit. Barely on. You guys should have won that game on Monday. You guys should have won. But yeah, choke. He's not a real stop, quarterback. Stop I focusing on Philadelphia. Friends. Stop focusing have, on Philadelphia. You I got have friends that are Eagles fans that gave up. In on the back that. of your mind, in the back of your mind, you got Miami and Detroit coming up. So I would shut it for now. Yo, know, don't be mad because okay, Adam, who's the better quarterback? You can admit you hate both teams. So who's what, better who's better? Prescott or Hurts? You're- I can't believe I'm saying this right now. I would say Dak. Dak is way better than Jalen Hurts. Let's look at the now we Dak look- has less talent around him, and he's out. And he's right now. He's performing better than Jalen Hurts. You have the best wide receivers in the league, and you have the best. Work. You have you have AJ Brown, who's probably the best wide one of the best wide receivers in the league, and you have Devontae Smith, two great wide receivers. Hell, we have Michael Gallup and CeeDee Lamb. They're average. They're all right. But you have the best wide receiver, and you still can't do shit with them. That's the only reason why y'all are 10 and 4 is because you're because of who who was that? Who did I say, Adam? Is what? that Jalen Hurts? I have Eagle friends that said Jalen Hurts is the worst quarterback that you guys ever had starting quarterback. And you guys had I, I read, Wentz had a better career in Philly than Wentz than uh Hurts right now. So I'm gonna say this: if he can make you out to play, to get to win a championship, I'll say he better than Dax. But he ain't better than Dax. He a bag of dicks right now, I, and that's how Jalen's been playing like a bag of dicks at him. You know what I'm saying? Look at the look at the, look at Alex about to cry again like he did in the Super Bowl last year. We'll see. <laughs> We will see how he performs in the next two weeks. We will get the dub. We're tied for first place, bitch. That's all I got to say. <clears throat> Cowboys, we, we're at home these next games, brother. You better rec- no, we, no, we on the road. Shit, we play the Dolphins on the road. And then we play the Lions at home. And we got the Commanders. That's an easy one. We, we play the Commanders. We're being the Dolphins. There's no shot. We're beating the Dolphins, and we're going to beat the Lions at home. <clears throat> we lost. We didn't. We only lost. Did we lose a game at home this year? And we, the Cowboys haven't even lost a game at home yet. So yeah, you guys are undefeated at home. <laughs> so let me Which, tell you this: if you guys could secure a home field advantage, that would be huge for the playoffs. I'm the same. We're, we play the Lions at home. I don't we're see not... you guys catching San Francisco, so it's unfortunate. But first of all, we 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 could beat San Francisco, honestly. Oh. I don't see. Oh. I here's the thing. If you guys beat, if you guys, if you guys are at home, if you guys can somehow get that game at home, I like your chances. But because you guys are unstoppable at home, but on the road, uh, on the road, you're not as good. So I'm just. <sighs> I just I, I don't see you guys going into San Francisco and, and, and being a And there's a three way tie for like some for... miracle you can jump San Francisco. Like let's see here. San Francisco has like three games left. They got the Ravens that the, they got the Ravens, Commanders, and that so if they just lose that last game and you guys win out, I don't know, would you guys get the tiebreaker over um over San Francisco? 
We just need the 49ers to lose. We just need the 49ers. That's what I'm saying. You got, uh, saying. You got the Dolphins. It's the problem with that. You got the Dolphins. That's a, that's definitely a not a gimme. The, you got the Lions. That's definitely not a gimme. And I think I think you'll beat uh, the Commanders. So. The 49ers so that's, beat every that's team. The, thing. the 49ers only have one losable game. You guys have two. So I just I don't see you guys uh, catching up the 49ers. All right, let me explain. The 49ers killed the Eagles and the Cowboys this year. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So, so yeah, oh yeah, so this is 49ers being that means that means yeah, you guys aren't you guys aren't getting home field advantage. We could get home field advantage. We just we could have a tiebreaker and then play the play them for that tiebreaker game to so get a home field advantage. Yep. I'm gonna say this. Mm-hmm. Um, um, let's go. I, I'm gonna pull a Joe Namath and Michael Jordan. Mm-hmm. The Cowboys will win the Super Bowl this year. Call me crazy. We're going all the way. I think we're going all the way, Adam. I think this is our year. Dak has been playing like an MVP. I think Dak can go all the way this year. What do you think, Adam? What? I think we can go all the way this year. You can no, no, I don't think you guys are going all the way. Imagine if we went all the way. You know how insufferable I would be for the show. Hey, Alex, what are we going to do if Dallas goes all the way? What are we doing to Michael? I guess we are shutting him down for the get your game on. We're shutting down the pod, guys. You hear that, Michael? <laughs> If the Cowboys win the Super Bowl, we're, we're, we're shutting down the podcast. Oh, no, you're not. <laughs> I want to have my bragging rights, damn it. I want to have my bragging rights. You know what I realize, Adam? Since yeah. we've been doing this podcast, none of our favorite teams won a sport. Wait, no. Chris. Chris. When oh, Chris won a... is the exception. Chris is the exception. I think out of any host, no team has won a championship. I remember I predicted that uh this year that would that this season that would change. That that's somebody on the podcast will have a will have a championship. Yes. What team you think is gonna to happen to? I don't know. At least give us a sport. I said I said I I, I thought a team would win a championship. I, I I didn't say which one. I just thought a team. Would just win say it. Just say it. Just say it now. I ne- I didn't pick a team. All right. I thought. All right, I I thought the Yankees would win, but that turned out to be wrong. <laughs> exactly, Adam. Our, our game. Our get your game one uh, pickings for for championships are always wrong. <laughs> yep. All right, but you guys, um, you want what you want to talk about the uh two uh Stooges in New York football really quickly before we get to the hot take? Who are the Stooges? Let's talk about let's talk about thing one that is the New York Giants. I mean, all of a sudden, all the Tommy DeVito magic, all that magic, it comes crashing down to a halt now. Am I gonna blame yo this loss? That, 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 am I gonna blame this loss on Tommy DeVito? No, I'm not gonna blame the loss on him, yo. The offensive line, yo, was not good, and he has no weapon. He really does not really have any weapons. Throw football too. So I'm not gonna sit here. I'm not gonna uh, like the receiving core gave him nothing, and the offensive line didn't give him much either. So. I'm not gonna sit here and say that Tommy DeVito you know, was the reason they lost that game, but it's like for everyone that thought that oh, like maybe yo, oh look at Tommy DeVito, the Giants don't have a quarterback problem. Um, guys, let's be real, the Giants have a quarterback problem. They're f- their uh next quarterback, their next uh. Their next franchise quarterback is not currently on the roster right now. Who? 
I said the Giants' next franchise quarterback is not currently on the roster right now. You just said that Diamond DeVito is a good quarterback. I, I said the loss wasn't his spot. I didn't say no Tiny DeVito is. Tiny DeVito, I think, could be a really good backup in this league. He can be a guy that, what he's doing you right now, he's your yo, franchise he, he can come in for a couple of games, he can pinch it, and he can definitely keep your, uh, keep your season afloat. But is he a guy that, uh, that you really, that you say, oh, that guy, yo, we can win a Super Bowl with that guy? Win a Super Bowl with that guy? No. And were you just on the time of the Vito bus a couple of weeks ago? I last week, I, last week I said I thought he could be a, I thought he could be, I thought he could be a, a really good backup to a low end starter. That's what I said. You said he was a franchise quarterback. Bullshit! If you could buy me the audio of me saying that, and I'll give you money. You said that you didn't need to drive Caleb Williams last two weeks ago, Alex. Didn't he say that on the show that he didn't? They didn't need to draft Drake up, Drake May or Caleb Williams on the show last like couple I episodes. Is, I never said that they didn't. You're need full to of shit. That. Stop I, lying. I said, I said Stop that. Lying. I said that. I said that it was that uh, that that you know I'm not gonna sit here and not enjoy wins just because we're missing out Ali Williams and Drake May. That's why I said. No, I'm not you gonna said, sit here you and said say and needed. say, oh, I'm not enjoying this run by Tiny Devito and the Giants winning games. Just because, oh, we may miss out on Caleb Williams or Drake May. No, you and didn't we say could, that. Because even, even, because here, even if we're not picking high enough, we could, A, we could still trade up for one of them, and B, we could still draft J Jaden Daniels or whoever it is from LSU. Did you say Jaden McDaniels? You failed. I said Jaden da Jaden Daniels. Adam, I have a new rule on the podcast. You don't say the black names on the show. You always say the white people names. You got it? Why? Because you fail at them. You stick to the white people's name. Okay. It's Jaden. I don't know what you said, Jalen. I don't know what you said. Adam, are you secret racist? No. I believe you are. Mm -hmm. I love what you are racist. I love you too, buddy. You are racist, I swear. Nah, I love you too much. Yeah, but I mean, this... It's it's just like, and like the Giants, we all it's like it's just the reality of like how far like this team yo needs to go. And for those of you who really thought that this team yo, while they're still mathematically alive for a playoff spot, guys, let's be honest. These last three games, are they beating the Eagles at, at Christmas? No, they're not. Are they beating uh the Rams as at home? I'll give them a puncher's chance, but I would still bet on no. And with the way things are going, that game is gonna be crucial for the Eagles, yo. On February, uh, on on January seventh, so that's also uh not that's also not good. That's also not good. So yeah, I definitely think the Giants are finishing with. But at their fish, they're gonna finish either five and five and twelve or six and eleven. And that means no playoffs for the G men. The Giants are just terrible. Yo, guys, you wanna know? You wanna know something? And you wanna know why? Um, you wanna know why? Uh, God hates me. <laughs> why does he hate you? Oh, 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 wait, oh, wait, sorry, I was wrong. Uh, 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 I was gonna say, I, I, I thought this was right. Um, uh, a couple of weeks ago, you know, my, you want to, oh, um, I made seven teams that were, that would make the playoffs. Remember our predictions? I picked seven teams right now that would make the playoffs. And among those seven teams, and one of among those seven teams, 
Six of them are currently in a playoff spot. Guess which is the one team that's not? The Giants. Or at least it was. That, that was the case a couple weeks ago. That changed, yo. Because, yo, the Saints, yo, are currently, um, the Buccaneers currently are in control of the South, and the Rams currently have the last wild card over the Seahawks. But yeah, ready to move, we'll talk about the Jets here. Those J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. I know, Michael, you don't want to talk about them. Who? You don't want to talk about the J E T S Jets, Jets, Jets. They, I gave up. It, it, they may get Aaron Rodgers back. There's a rumor that Aaron Rodgers. No, guess back. what? You guys, can we say something right now? The Jets are eliminated from the playoffs. <laughs> it's done. And I saw that report of like, oh, Aaron Rodgers, he's going to be cleared to play. Stop it! The <laughs> Jets <laughs> are eliminated from the playoffs. They're done. They're officially eliminated. Why would you play a guy, yo, coming off an Achilles injury when you're eliminated from the playoffs? The That's Jets just make the playoffs. I it, just, it, it's like, what is there to gain? What is there to gain? Oh, oh, you, oh, Woody Johnson may get, may get, yo, ten extra fans to watch the games. Like really, <laughs> Woody Johnson's been an idiot for over fifteen years. Like, like, literally, there's nothing that there's nothing to gain, you know. Uh, okay, they may beat the, they may beat the Commanders. Woo, they'll probably probably beat the Commanders even without even without Aaron Rodgers. So, it's like, it's like they have nothing to gain. I just want to see. I'm tired of all this drama. Like Aaron saying, "Oh, I could come back." You know, I just I'm not sure what he said up at Mac Free today, but it's like I want to see Woody Johnson and Aaron just kind of say, "Hey." I'm done. I'm done for the season. See you all. See you all in in September 2024. Can I, can I get that, please? Can I hear that come out of Aaron Rodgers' mouth? Can I hear that come out of Robert Sala's mouth? Can I hear that come out of Woody Johnson's mouth, pretty please? Yeah, but it's like, yeah. And also another thing about Zach Wilson. Guys, you know what we learned about Zach Wilson? Michael. Who, what? You want to know what we learned about Zach Wilson? That he's trash? Absolutely nothing. That's what we learned. We learned absolutely nothing that we did already know. We know Zach Wilson is trash. He is... He... You... If he is not a uh, on a Super Bowl winning team, he's a third string quarterback. Can I just call it what it is? On a Super Bowl team, he's a third string quarterback. Like it's like it's like, and that the Jets no, oh, and I get starting the rest of the year. I get it because as of right now, he's their best option. He's their so best he, option. They don't have they don't have an option right now on the roster better than Zach Wilson. I will be a better quarterback than Zach Wilson. Nah, I don't trust your aim. Sorry, buddy. My, I got a better arm than Zach Wilson. I could at least throw the ball better than that motherfucker. I don't trust your aim, buddy. I got a better aim than Zach Wilson. <laughs> Woody Johnson, trust me. If you want to win, win games, pick my arm. Because I actually don't suck. Damn, I'll be a better quarterback for the Jets, for God's sakes. And I'll play for fifty thousand dollars. I don't care. I'll play for fifty thousand. Just put me in. Would you? Would you play for free? <laughs> Hell yeah! To help the Jets make a playoff spot, I'm getting at least three. I'm getting. I'm scoring. I'm getting at least five hundred yards and three touchdowns, and probably one in two.
You What's ready for this? What's your what's your hot take? The Phoenix Suns have one of, if not the bleakest futures in the NBA. Do you hear my hot take? Uh, that's not even a hot take. Let me explain, let me explain, because let's look at the Phoenix Suns right now. Okay, yes, Kevin Durant is balling, but here's the thing, we all, know, we all know, it's Kevin Durant. Kevin Durant's gonna, he's actually 36, 30, uh, uh, he's actually over 30 points a game, oh, duh, it's Kevin Durant, he, he was just over 30 in his sleep. He, and Devin Booker, you know, is doing Devin Booker things, and, and, bre as they say, so when they're, when they're, when, when they're both healthy, you know, they agree Worse, but that team right now, that team can't play a lick of defense. Let's be honest here. That team can't play a lick of defense. And they are right now. You want to know where they're ranked right now, uh, Michael? Where? They are ranked 10th place in the Western Conference. 10th place. They ain't even... They barely a playing team. That's how that that that's the situation. They're barely a playing team. And you look at their roster right now, you look at their roster right now, okay. Yes, we got Devin Booker who's you know, who's a who's a young stud, you know, what's he? He's twenty seven, okay, so he's still there in, in age. Bradley Beal's thirty, so so yeah, he is you know, he's not necessarily getting older, but it's it's not he ain't young either. I wonder how old Kevin Durant is. He's 35. He turns 36 in September before before next season. So your window with him right now, with Kevin Durant right now, is very, very short. And you see, we've seen from them right now, right now, you look at their roster, the, the, the Suns Talos Hopes, it's not looking too good. They got Kevin Durant and Bradley Beal because they believe that they believe that that those two were the last two pieces they needed to compete for a title. And right now it's not working. Right now it's not working. And you see how and really how are they gonna, Michael? How are they improving their uh, team going forward? What are they gonna do from there? Everybody has to they stay trade. Help. Guess what, Michael? Guess who? Owns pretty much all their draft picks until twenty twenty eight. Who? The Brooklyn the Nets. Nets. Thanks to the Kevin Durant trade. So eventually, eventually Kevin Durant's you know, eventually Kevin Durant's time in Phoenix is gonna run out, and and let's see if we're gonna run out. And guess what? The Suns are gonna have nothing left but um, Devin Booker and. and and how and how are they gonna improve their team with with no draft picks? They may end up having to trade Devin Booker just to recoup some of those draft picks. So I'm saying right now that the Phoenix Suns have one of, if not the bleakest futures in the NBA. That's it. That's it. I'm done. Alex, you go first. Um, I am gonna approve. I believe. I only agree. With, disagree with one thing. Yeah. Yeah. Only thing I disagree is is that the only reason why they've been playing poorly because they didn't have. The big three hasn't played a game together because probably played a few games with the injuries. Yeah, KD yeah. was hurt, then Booker. So honestly, if they could get all healthy, they're made their first or second, third round team, third seed team in the NBA. Let's just be real. In no, the way. I don't know about that. If they could all stay healthy, they still can't play a lick of defense. I mean, should the NBA? Barely play defense. You can have a great bat NBA you know, offense, and you can still be an NBA. All right, regular season, I'll give you. Regular season, I'll give you. 
regular season, you could, for example, this is how I knew this is bullshit. Jer- Jaron Jackson Jr., the best defender in the NBA, has the worst NBA, has the worst team in the league. The Grizz is the worst team in the league, and Jaron Jackson Jr. is the best defender. So that doesn't mean. Yeah. He had the best. He had the best rating defensive player of the year. That's my opinion. That's the best player, the defensive player of the league. You know what I mean? So Adam, you just you just Cooper Gate. You just uh, fucked up your own statement. But I agree. You're approving. Even though at least it, it didn't bore me, so I always disapprove your hot takes that are boring. Okay. And, <laughs> When you put LeBron and we put Kareem as, as, as when you put LeBron as, is in top three, that that kind of got me sad about your hot take. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, your hot take wasn't that bad. It's not like Alex's hot take that says the Sixers need role players to win a championship trade for role players. At least it wasn't that bad. What's next on the show, Bubba? All right, but all right, all right, but thank you guys for the approval. All right, so we're on the second half of the show. We're going to try and make this you know, a relatively short uh, second half because there's really not much else to talk about here. Um, here, so uh, oh yeah, the uh, so yeah, let's talk, let's talk a little bit of baseball stuff. Um, the latest on Yoshinobu Yamoto because everyone's paying attention to the. Star Japanese pitchers, uh, free agent sweepstakes, and we've and there's been a lot of misinformation going on. Uh, I want to say I I I I I wouldn't say misinformation. No, no, I wouldn't. I want I want to say that, but it's like there's been a lot of like uh mixed reports coming out. Like we we've heard that apparently he was me with the Yankees and and the Mets show this past what was it this past Monday I believe. Yeah, this this past Monday, I believe. So they, yeah. So the Yankees met with them. I believe the Mets also met with them. And now I've heard. I I believe he's now flying out to uh, L. A. to once again meet meet with the Dodgers and and there's a report going out there that apparently um apparently uh, according to Bob Clavish is that. His decision won't be made until after Christmas, which I'm not sure how much I believe that. At it's like, cause a lot of MLB teams, you know, are waiting, you know, on you know, uh, to see what they're gonna ha- what's gonna happen with uh, Yamamoto. So I'm sure that a lot that's maybe some of, of the bidders that uh, if they if if Yamamoto keeps away, he's saying okay, well. Hey, maybe we'll pivot. We'll go out. Th- we'll go out there and go after Blake Snell, or we'll go out there and go out there after John Montgomery. You know, it's like. So I'm not sure how much I. I I'm not sure how much I believe that. I mean, we'll have to see how how the bid goes, because because apparently bidding has not yet started. There were reports saying, "Oh, he's, oh, uh, oh, the Yamaha's received offers of like it's in excess of three hundred million." Jeff Passick came out and. Recently and recently shut that down. I said teams have not yet bidding, but it, but he's but bidding is expected to start. He, he reported that what well, what was it? Yes, on Monday. So uh, so yeah. So it's like I tweeted this out, and this is my thing. My, my thing with uh, the I'll, I'll say two things. I'll say two things. Uh, this is the thing with the Yankees is that it's like. Here's it's like when it's when the Yankees really want someone, they typically get them. Now we can look back at the Yankees and say, "Oh, they've let some guys slip away. They've let some guys, yo, know, like they haven't gone after guys that they probably shouldn't have got after." Yo, know, Royce Harper's on the list. Corey Seager's on the list. Yo, know. there's a lot of guys that uh that the Yankees uh did not go out there and sign that. You could argue they probably should have gone out there and signed, but when the Yankees really want someone, if they really want someone, they typically go out there and get them. You saw what happened with uh, Garrett Cole. You saw it happen uh, recently with uh, Juan Soto. And you saw it happen last year with Aaron Judge. Like, 
Hal Steinberg is not cheap. Like, girls are saying, oh, Hal Steinberg is cheap, you know, he's not willing to spend money. Like, that's wrong. Like, like you're, you're factually incorrect. He has proven time and time again that he is more than willing to spend money. Like, he... And, and he showed it right now, and the reports that saying that the Yankees, that it appears that they're all in on, on Yamamoto. Again, I showed you a report, a report from Jack Curry that said, yo, know, that said that they're impressed with him as a pitcher and they're impressed with him as, as, as a person. You know, they, the Yankees have a great history of Japanese uh, players. Look at Hideki Masui, you know, Hiroki Kuroda, Masui Tanaka, you know. Those are like the Yankees, they've had success with the Japanese players. Pictures, so, so, so right now it really seems like the Yankees are going to be all in, and, and if they are, are you know, I'm, I, I feel good about the chances. That now it doesn't mean that doesn't guarantee anything. I think the Mets are still going to be on it. I think the, the Dodgers. I really think the Dodgers show could be a scary threat, but. Thing. You know, what, you know what? I, I, I literally was as those that some loser Met fan who I will not name because their name does not the account's name does not deserve to be mentioned. He say it, I dare you. <laughs> saying that uh the Yankees can't keep up with Cohen, yo. Know, Cohen's like the that? richest owner in baseball. Who uh, said that? Who said like, that? Uh, like, they're like, oh, like, oh. The, the Yankees that, aren't um... going to get caught because, oh, the they're Yankees, the team that has the most revenue in all of baseball, the team that that literally prints money, that literally prints money, Adam, shut up. and, Which idiot said that? and Which the literally idiot... prints money, like, oh, they can't keep up with Cohen. Let me tell you something right now. Let me tell you something right now. If Steve Cohen offered Yamamoto four hundred million dollars, the Yankees could match that. They very easily could. You want to know why they wouldn't? You want to know why they wouldn't? Because it would be stupid to pay a guy four hundred million dollars who hasn't thrown a major league pitch yet. That's why. So all the stuff about oh. Oh my! Oh, the Yankees can't keep the. Oh my God, the Yankees aren't gonna out. The Yankees can't keep with Steve. With Steve Cohen, they could literally outbid, and they could literally match and at anyone if they felt it was the right baseball move. And and that's the thing. And that's the thing, yo. That's the same thing. The Mets are going after after Steve Cohen, and the thing about Steve Cohen and the Mets is it says. Let, let, let me get something straight. Let me get something straight here. The big difference between the Wilpons and Cohen is that Cohen is was willing to spend money that, that uh the Wilpons weren't like the Lindor move that was that you know that that was a smart baseball move but that's what the Wilpons weren't willing to make. Uh, hey yo, know, go out there and yo know, at the time we 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 thought at least gain Max Scherzer, gain Justin Verlander, being willing to spend money on you like that yo know, yo, know, oh like making that's the thing. Steve Cohen was able to spend money and make smart baseball moves. It doesn't mean that all of a sudden that he's gonna go out there and yo know, oh, that pay like pay five hundred million dollars to a Japanese pitcher. Like no, because that's not smart baseball. So to act like to act like uh, the whole narrative that oh. The Yankees can't keep up with the, with the Mets as if as if the Yankees are like some organization. What the? Are you stupid? Were you dropped at birth? Like, it's like it's like, and this 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 person, 
For, they refer to uh, Steve Cohen as King Cohen. The guy hasn't even won a playoff series yet. Guy hasn't even won a playoff series yet. Only Met fans could refer to someone as King. They have won a playoff series yet with them. Hey, Adam, who said that? Which which guy was nameless? That you didn't uh, name? Let me, let me, um... I'm going to send it to you right now in the group chat. Please do not mention their name on the air. Do we know them? No, we don't. It's just... Some random account was replying to me. I got into a bit of a Twitter beef with them. My goodness, Met fans. There's also another account there that, again, I will not name because Met fans are just... Adam, I worry about you. What the fuck? Alex, I'm going to ask you a question. Do I not know how to Twitter beef? You're probably the only one I met that is good at Twitter beef. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I'm a love you. Oh, we just got you guys remember uh CJ Bukala? We had him on a couple of months ago. Yeah. I sent him a DM saying, bro, because remember he, he said how much he hates the Mets and Mets fans. Yeah. I replied. I I sent him a DM yo know, the other day saying, hey. all the bowl games and obviously you know, the college football playoffs so guys the floor is yours so um the bowl season has gone underway um and I'm really looking forward to um some great games over the next couple of days um 
I'm really interested. Really interested to see how Louisville does against USC. I know USC has been slacking off a bit, but I think Louisville has a tremendous team this year, and uh, it's really going to be uh, a one to keep an eye on. Yeah, what do you think that... about? Go ahead. What, what do you think about your Rutgers team? I mean, Rutgers, they're in the uh, pinstripe ball, correct? Yeah. I like their chances in that game. I mean, Rutgers, they got off to um, a really great start, but then, you know, as they faced, you know, the tougher portion of their schedule, you know, they fell off, you know, like, they lost to Ohio State, they lost to Iowa, and they lost to Penn State. So, and, and they also lost to uh, Maryland, so. But, yeah, but, yeah, they're facing uh, the U.S. of so Miami, Miami, you know, of great, great pro, Miami's a great team, great school, you know. Tyler Van Dyke, so definitely uh, no scrub, but I definitely would give us a fighting chance. We're playing at uh, Yankee Stadium, so... We gotta win that one, right? Rutgers at Yankee Stadium, we gotta win that one, right? Right. If you play at Yankee Stadium, we gotta win. The other game I'm really looking forward to is the um the NC State Kansas State game. That should be a good matchup. I like. I like how uh, NC State has been playing this year, and I think they're going to match up with Kansas State uh, really well. Guys. Yep. I love you, niggas. I love you, too. Oh, are you going to watch the the bar store Sports Arizona Bowl? Who's that between? Wyoming Toledo. That's an interesting matchup. I may, have, I may have to tune into that. It's on the 30th at 4.30 p.m. You guys, let's, let's wrap it up. I got work in it. Right. Uh, yeah. Now, now, I think I think Michael's uh just ask us to wrap it up because he doesn't want us to preview all this stuff because he's still salty that uh that Georgia missed out. It's okay, Michael. We understand. Oh, also shout out to Marcellus. Good luck against San Jose State. In the easy post Hawaii bowl. Yeah. He's he doesn't like Coastal Carolina for basketball. He's a Duke fan. You didn't know that? I thought he went to Coastal for college. Yeah, he doesn't like he's a bas Duke basketball fan. He's a Duke basketball fan for college football. Huh. He's Coastal Carolina. Prank bitch. <laughs> oh my god. Got him. <laughs> But for college basketball, he's a but for football, he likes Coastal Carolina. Mm -hmm. Sh yo, sh shout out my cousin who I'm seeing on um taking to the Nick game. Hey Adam, let's wrap the show up because I'm getting tired. To our uh, viewers, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh. Again, Michael, you, again, we still got fish rush. Okay, I I understand, buddy. You're salty that uh <laughs> that uh Georgia missed out. We understand, but we still got to preview all these bowl games. Sorry, <laughs> buddy. I'm not. I'm not salty. Hey, we we won. We won back to back championships. I'm happy. Adam, I see my teams win a championship in my lifetime. That yeah, you're gonna have to settle for the uh Orange Bowl against Florida State. You have to sell for that one, buddy. I'm sorry. Hey, Adam, we could still make the championship game. 
it's the best that new world next football college football season. Yeah, next when... college football season, not this cup college football season. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> I know, I'm heartbroken. You're heartbroken. I I get you. All right, the all right, and Alabama you know, versus football. Michigan. All right, I ask Alabama versus Michigan. Can I go? Let me pick. Go ahead. Fuck Alabama. Adam, you know who I'm picking. <laughs> You're picking Michigan, right? Fuck Alabama. I hate Alabama when I'm flying past. Yeah. And Michigan's my second favorite team. So, Adam, that's all I got to tell you. Go blue. Adam, what does I'm this mean? I'm going with Michigan, too. I'm going with Michigan, too. Adam, you rooted for Alabama. Adam, you like rooting for Alabama against me, so go fuck yourself. I said I picked I said I'm picking Michigan. No, when, no when, they, when Georgia played Alabama this year in the SEC championship game, you rooted against Alabama, and you rubbed it. You were making fun of me, so go fuck yes. yourself. Yes. So why are you doing Why are you want to root for my team now? My second favorite. That's because I agree with you. Jack Hughes is from Michigan. Derek Jeter's from Michigan, so... I gotta represent Michigan. That's that's your art. That's your point. Go oh, fuck. That's you. my point. Yeah. What's wrong with Georgia? Martin Luther King Jr. You got root for Martin Luther King Jr. He's from Atlanta. He's from Atlanta, but is he? Uh, uh, is, did he go to uh, the University of Georgia? No, but he's from the state of Georgia, and that's why you know I vote for Georgia because my sister lives twenty minutes away from that. Yeah. And I've always been a Bulldog fan. Yo. Mm-hmm. Adam, we got to do another bowl game. Yeah. What? Never mind. I'm tired. What we got? Uh, we also got we also got Texas and Washington. Texas and Washington. I'm going with Washington. I'll go, I'm going to, I think Texas pulls off the upset. Yeah, okay. Okay, I, I, I'll i give, I'll give, um, I, I'll give, I guess, I said, I give Alabama a fighting chance because you never bet against Nick Saban, but I still think Michigan is just the best team in the country. I think they'll eventually win out. So I, I, I have Michigan versus Texas, and I'll, I'll, I'll say Michigan wins it all. What about you, Axe? What's your bracket looking like? I'm going to pick Washington and Alabama. Ooh! Alex, what's wrong with you? Why are you picking up? And I'm going to go with Washington over Alabama in the championship game. Wow! That's ballsy. <laughs> that is ballsy, yeah. I respect it. I respect it. And Michael, you've got we've got Michigan over who again in the championship? Who the who the other? Texas and Washington, I believe. I pick Michigan. I pick Michigan over uh, Michigan win the championship yeah, over uh, Washington. Michigan over Washington. Okay, so I got Michigan over Texas. You got Michigan over Washington, and Alex has Washington over Alabama. So there's our. Those are our bits. We'll see how well they go. Okay, but guys, you know how it is. Time for the bets of the episode, guys. So, <clears throat> what are we doing? All right. So, Michael, we all know you. Oh, it's your second, so you get to pick. Michael, I'm just warning you. I have a bet in mind. So, if you pick my bet for the game of the episode, I'm smacking you. Give me a hint what your game of the episode game of your bet was. I'm not giving you a hint. Get, is it, give me a bat. Give me what sport it is, and I won't pick it. it, it it's NBA. It's NBA. Oh, you motherfucker! Knicks versus Nets. That's the game of the week. Fuck you! <laughs> How'd you guess? <laughs> How the fuck did you guess? I checked the schedule to see, and I'm going to that game on Thursday. I'm going to that game. It's tomorrow. It's actually today. It's actually it's actually Wednesday. I'm actually going. That's why, man. I'm actually going to the game. My brother got me tickets. That's where I'm going. You hate me, do you? I hate you so much. (laughs) 
Adam, you go first. Alex, you go first, and me and Adam go last. So we picking game of the week. I picked it. I picked this game for the episode because I I know Alex hates both teams. So, and you picked it because this is because now I gotta think of something else for my bet. Fuck you, Michael. <laughs> Adam, who's an evil genius? I fucking hate you. <laughs> <laughs> Adam, you want to kill me, don't you? I thought you were going to come to my house and smack me, Adam. No, I got to think of something better to do. I got to think of something better to do. Okay, I'm going Nets. Actually, you going with? I'm gonna go with Knicks. And Michael's going with the Nets. Clearly, that's a that's been his favorite team since his since his childhood. So he's a huge um he's a huge Ke- Mikhail Bridges fan, and he was a huge Kevin Durant fan. So. Michael Cunningham, you're, you, so Michael Cunningham obviously is going to be picking the Nets. So even though I have a big poster of the Nets all over my wall and my color, and I have so many Nets hats. Exactly, exactly. In fact, hold on, hold on. You have so you have so many Nets hats. You gave me one of them, right? Totally. <laughs> Uh, hold up. Hold up. Even I, ha- I had a drop. Adam, you know who I'm picking. Let's be real now. Let me, let me get my mind back. You know who I'm going with. My Knicks, baby, for life. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Let's go Knicks, baby. Game of the episode. Alex, who are you picking for the game of the episode? Knicks. Good boy. Good boy. I fucking hate you, Michael. I hate you so fucking much. (laughs) I did it so you couldn't do it. I hate you. Do you mean to change it? I want I want I want to light you on fire. Light your house on fire. Commit arson. You you, you know my mom heard you. I mean arsonist mood today. Why? You want me to change the bet, you big baby? If you did, I'd really appreciate it. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> Just... Now I gotta think of something else to do. It's not that hard. Pick up a bet. Do a hockey bet. Do a devil bet. Um, I got the perfect bet for you. I'll go... On Thursday, I'll go Devils over Oilers, and I'll do a same thing. Probably, I'll take the over in that game. There's, there's gonna be, uh, there's, there's gonna be no defense. There's gonna be no goaltending. That's so there's two great offensive teams that play have absolutely no defense and have no goaltending. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'll take the Devils over the Oilers, and I'm gonna, I think they win the game. I they got I mean that's a tough loss against the Flyers, Flyers and the uh and. And the Ducks, so they got bounced back. So I'll, yeah, I think it'll be a high score game. I'll take the over. That's my bet. All right, Alex, what's your bet? Um, I'm doing a three-game uh, college basketball parlay. So my first one is Arizona money nine over Alabama. Arizona over Alabama? Yeah. My second one is Nevada. Nevada money nine over Temple. Yeah, 
Nevada over Temple. Yeah. Okay, and last but not least. And Washington money line over Eastern Washington. All right, uh, Michael Cullian, last up. Go ahead. Adam, I'm a dick. You know what I'm saying? Yep. <laughs> Adam, how much are you mad at me right now? One out of ten. I am right now. It's just how mad I'm at you. I'll say a seven. Why? Because I took a game of the episode? Yes. I'm going to take the Pacers over Hornets. Paces of a Hornets. I'm gonna take Timberwolves over Sixers. And I'm gonna take Yoki's for ten assists. Okay. Yoki's ten assists. <laughs> What's the matter, Adam? Can I got your tongue? All right, guys, it's all for our best. It's all for this episode. Hey, Michael. Yeah. Look. Michael Cunningham. Yeah. You're not looking at the screen. What you say? I said look at the screen. I'm showing you a message. What's my message? <laughs> you want to kill me? Take a look. Good luck. <laughs> All, right. All right. So a little bit about... Uh, Obviously, this we said this is gonna be our. We expect this to be our last episode for uh the whole the holiday season. So, uh, but but uh, we expect this to be our last episode, yo, know, before Christmas and before um, and we expect this to be our last episode of the New Year in general. Because Max, you're you're going to uh Florida next week. Yeah. Okay. So. So yeah, obviously we won't be able to do any episodes until, until the new year. So, uh, so yeah, where we say uh, after this episode, we will be taking a bit of a two, what was a two week hiatus. Cause yeah, new say so yeah, new say so yeah, New Year's Eve, Eve, Eve and day is Sunday and Monday. So, our next episode will be uh Wednesday, January third. Does that sound good for everyone? That's all good, baby, baby. The our next episode will be up then. So just wanna just wanna clarify everything. Um we've done you know, a gr I mean no I can I guess I can sh I guess I could show this off really quickly. Why not? <laughs> I mean you could I mean you can see the lights over there, they're done and uh, Over there, the tree is done too. Yeah, definitely looking forward to uh, this. Uh, my, I mean, Eve, we're going over to see uh, my relatives who I haven't seen yo know, in a long time and. Uh, and and Christmas Day, uh, we're, we we I'm actually gonna see uh one of my one of my closest friends that I've known since childhood. You know that, uh, uh, that we're gonna go see see him as well. Looking forward to it. Could, gonna be a really great holiday season. It's gonna be a really great uh Christmas for uh Lucasani household. Well, you Michael, what's in staff for you? Um, what 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 what's uh, what what what's in, what's uh. On tabs for you this holiday. Eh? 
No response. So I guess that means you're not doing anything. Aww. Oh, what am I doing for the holidays? Yeah. Go ahead. I want to fuck your girlfriend for the holidays. Strike two. I'm going to fuck her for the holidays. You can't take a joke? Strike three. Does he and ever he, learn? Strike three, and he's out. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Michael. That uh, strikeout was worse than Joey Gallo. So what we've learned now is that Michael Cunningham's not doing anything for the holidays. Like, <laughs> the only thing he knows is how to try to get in the pants of other people's girlfriends. That's the only thing <laughs> all he's right, doing. Because all, all he, he lives that sad of a life. Oh, you know better than that, boy. I'll smack the shit out of you with your little devil hat. Adam's a keyboard warrior, too. Adam talks that shit on the phone. But with me in person, he's a bitch, just like Alex. I just learned that about both of you guys. Nah, I talk shit to your face, too. Come on. Give me more no, credit than that. <laughs> no, you don't. You're afraid of me, Adam, because uh, you know... On this, on this podcast as well, I, I talk crap to your face. No, you don't. This don't count. This is this is called screen. Yeah. Adam, what I'm going to do for the holidays, I'm going to uh, my uncle's house. I'm going out to dinner, and I'm cooking dinner for my family. Ah, uh, good for you. Oh, yeah, and I'm having my niece come over, and I'm playing Santa Claus for her. Good for you. Good for you. I want Definitely. to tell that Santa Claus is. I told her I'm about to tell that Santa Claus died in a car accident and got killed. Oh, okay, that's your. That is cruel. <laughs> Don't do that, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, and that's you know what I, I told like my 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 girl I was going to do. I told that I was going to say that the Easter Bunny, Santa Claus, and the two fairy all commit all had a gig one killed each other. So you hit nothing. Yeah. Is that fucked up? Yep. I'm going to hell, am I? I may tell a baby that to him. I may tell a one year old that. Mm -hmm. Adam, I'm joking. I ain't going to do yeah. that. Oh, Adam, wrap it up. All right. All right. Yeah, let's stop. We're going to start wrap up the show right now. But before we get the uh, show, we, obviously, we want to say to all oh, this is out there. Probably just as we hope you had a very wonderful call. But um, we hope you have a very, very Christmas. We hope you have a very happy Kwanzaa. We wish you all the warmest and safest, yo. Happy holidays for whatever you celebrate. So we wish, we wish again, we wish everyone one the best, the best for the holidays, and we look forward to seeing you. We all, we wish you all a very happy New Year. We look forward to seeing you all. 2024, but yeah, until then, guys, that's it. So, I'm officially and I'm like, and I'm like, 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 I'm like,